Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one. I'm player two, and I have your shoes. What are you doing with those? Sir? Sir, you have, you have tiny baby feet. These are men's two and a half. I have fins. Don't have feet. <laughs> Welcome back to Professor Layton and the Diabolical Bugs. Last time, we unmasked Don Paolo Waluigi for being a little girl like the creep he is. Uh, he apparently had the box, but we now have the box. There was nothing in it, though. So someone stole whatever was in it. So we got to find that. Apparently, there's stuff in the museum. But first, we still have two puzzles here at Granny's. Jars and cans one. A long line of jars and cans sits on the counter. Your job is to rearrange these items so that both jars and cans are grouped with items of the same type. However, in doing so, you must always move two containers at once. Okay. So it's like... So it's like that. You can only move two at once. This doesn't seem that bad. Am I cooking? There's some sauce. Nope, 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 go back. I have yep. cooked. I have cooked. And now to test my theory. Well, damn. And there we have it. Mm hmm, four moves. Okay, you damn. You show off. All right, stack of dice. Let's see here. 30. <clears throat> You've stacked three dice in a column. At the points where two dice touch, the faces that are touching add up to five. If one visible face of the bottom die is showing a horn, what number must be on the top face of the top die? In case you're wondering, each die is identical, and all sets of opposing faces on each die add up to seven. What? Okay. So it's saying that these... These two add up to five, right? If I... If read. one face... At the point... Okay, um... At the points where two dice touch, the faces that are touching add up to five. Okay, no, it's... So it's the it's the top, it's the vertical these ones. These two... Add up to and five. And these two. Okay. These each equal five, which would So make, that one's four. Yes. This would have to be four, which means this one is one. Okay. Hmm. That would also mean these. So those two would be four? Yes. Okay. All sets of opposing faces add up to seven. So what's an opposing face? So that so that would mean like this one over here would be three, and this one over here would be six. Yes, that would make the top two, I believe. Two or five. Okay. Alright, so save, and we gotta guess either two or five. 
Consider this puzzle solved. Five. Consider this Looked like a badass, but okay. What? Okay. Try three. You know, it's great. We're just gonna brute force this. You bastard. Consider this puzzle solved. What? Okay. Five? We've already tried. No, we tried five. Four. Each die is identical. And all sets of opposing faces on each die add up to seven. Hmm. Okay, let's let's try this again. One. No. Let's try this again. One. This is one. Opposing faces. All sets of opposing faces add up to seven. So then. It'd have to be six. Hang on. Okay, hang on. This is one. So this one. No, I'm would I'm have holding to be six. I'm holding a D6 right now. There might be some fucky wucky shit. No, it. One, I'm literally holding a D6 right now. It has to be a six. Consider this puzzle solved. And there we have it. But then that would make the. I, I'm not smart enough to know what all I, that meant. I'm just using a physical prop that follows the same Hamster principles. Toy. Is it a sandbox? It looked like a brick. That... I don't think we can do anything with a brick. Yep, they're not interested, but they are useful for blocking line of sight. I think we still need the sandbox. Okay, well, let's move on. We're at 90 puzzles. Very cool. We are moving on to the museum. Oh, she's thirsty. Huh. For something <laughs> other than. Museum time. Oh, hidden puzzle on the fountain. That's quite the fountain they have here. It sure is. Surely a fountain of all time. Reminds me of a puzzle. The unusual fountain. The fountain shown below has the unusual ability to indicate the age of those who draw near it. For example, if a five-year-old child were to approach, the fountain would fire off water from spouts A, B, C, D, and E in that order. For age 15, the middle spout would fire and then be followed by spouts A through E. Okay, so the middle spout is 10, and then each of these is 1. For someone age 30, the middle spout would fire off three times. Given the fountain's method of indicating age, there's one utterly useless spout on the fountain. J. Because if the middle is 10, then they would never fire this one. True. Wait, 1, 2, 3, yeah. Right? Yeah. J. Yeah. Consider this puzzle solved. Easiest shit of my life. <laughs> A leaves no puzzle unsolved. Uh -huh. All right. Now let us go in. All right, is Dobby still here? Yes, he is. You. <laughs> uh, but I'm not thirsty. Wow, look at this place. Who is that? Your mother. If my mother looked like that. He looks like Danny DeVito. Kind of. Here we are. 
Hello, sir. Welcome, friends. I'm Grinko, and I'm the curator of the Herzen Museum. We have an extensive collection of artifacts pertaining to the history of this town and the Herzen family. Sammy told me all about you two. I hope you find our resources helpful to your search. Please feel free to peruse the collection to your heart's content. Very cool. Thank you, Grinko. That sounds gross. Oh, camera. Shushing. Yeah. All, all that uh, picture looks interesting. That does look. That's Beluga right there. We'll get back to that. And it looks like his brother's a vampire. Hmm. Ding, 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 ding. All right, let's see here. Um, coat, sleeve. Also, the center is missing a, uh... A true gentleman leaves no puzzle on the... There's a letter missing in the case. Case. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Hmm. Let's see if this works. They don't have to do this every time. That was almost too easy. All right, let's see here. Island on the map. Boink. Yes. Consider this puzzle solved. Very nice, very nice. Leaves no puzzle unsolved. Now, one of those, there will be a hidden puzzle. Alright. A hidden puzzle! Box of books. The box shown below has a height, width, and depth of 30 inches. Within this box, you'd like to place as many books as possible. Each book is 20 wide by 20 long by 10 thick. How many books can you pack into this box? Box can only be placed in the closed position. And you can position each book however you like. Okay. No, three. Three? Consider this puzzle solved. Guess there's gotta be something with like tipping the books on their side. So what would that be? Try five. Four or five. Consider this puzzle solved. It can't be like that many. It can't be in the double digits. Consider this puzzle solved. It'd be funny if it was just one. Consider this puzzle solved. Two. Consider this puzzle solved. Six. Consider this puzzle solved. It's somehow what? six. Let's let's see. Huh. Let's see the, the explanation. What the shit? 
I... I would have never. I would have never. You gotta have supreme mental imaging in order to somehow get that. Uh, anyway, let's reveal the brother. Whoa, why is Beluga so short? Yeah, the dwarfism from his mother. I see you've taken quite an interest in that picture. Is this what I think it is? It's a photograph of the entire Arisen family who were responsible for Forsense's legendary wealth. The distinguished older gentleman on the left is Duke Herzen. His youngest son, Frederick, is in the middle, and his eldest son, Anton, is on the right. Beluga's first name is Frederick? <laughs> Lame ass. Anton. Anton looks like a vampire. Yes. That Frederick. That's Mr. Beluga, the founder and owner of the Molentary Express, is it not? Oh, you know him. Well, in addition to owning a railway, Frederick is a friend of mine and owner of this museum. It's a sad story, really. He cut all ties to his father and left town 50 or so years ago. When he left, he took a small portion of the Herzen wealth and used it to start his white rye. Yes, Frederick was quite a study in contradictions. He disliked his father enough to change his name, but he returned the full sense to found this museum. It's a few extent to all members of the family. No, Frederick and Anton were always quite close, but their relationship with their father was never the same after that fateful day. What day, what was, day that, was that, sir? The day Duke Herzen discovered the vein of gold that brought so much wealth to full sense. He was a different man after that. Something changed him. Greed, perhaps? Well, yes, that. But there was something more than greed infesting his heart. What do you think that was? I... no. I think it's best if we end this chat here. It's not my place to speculate about what goes on in the hearts of other people. Of course. Tell me this, though, if you can. Where is Anton now? That's a good question. I've heard rumors that he might still be living in that old castle. But I can't imagine anyone would live in a place so run down that people called a vampire den. Gracious, look at how long we've been chatting. I think it's time for me to get back to work. Please look around for as long as you like. I guess even rich people have problems, huh? Hmm. Yeah, very interesting. I think, uh, I guess we look at the other stuff. Big old picture of, of bro? Place sure has a lot of stuff. Do you, suppo do you suppose this picture of the late Duke? I believe so, yes. The old Duke Herzen died a while back and left his master fortune. If he's gone, who is this vampire the whole town is talking about? Sammy mentioned that Mr. Beluga had an older brother here. I'd say he's likely the man at the heart of all this talk. If Mr. Beluga's... if he's Mr. Beluga's older brother, he would have to be old and feeble by now. True. I thought vampires didn't age. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go up there. We're gonna see him. He's gonna look exactly the same. Why... why do you think he's gonna look the same? Uh, secret twin... I, I guess secret, like, grandson. Um... Hmm... I wonder why else. I'm not sure if it's going to be the same person. Statue of the man. Mm. 
Uh huh. He built his whole place to honor his father. Oh. Okay, that seems to be it. Am I correct in believing that you two are searching for a lead on the Elysian box? Yes, that's right. Would you happen to know anything about it? I'm sure you already know that the Elysian box is a Hersen family heirloom. At Mr. Beluga's request, I've been researching the history of Fulcents and the Hersen family. In doing so, I uncovered a secret in this town's history that reveals the truth of the Elysian box. In intriguing. What is the secret you speak of? It's easy to ask that question when you don't know what you're getting into, Mr. Layton. But if you thirst for the truth and are ready to face it, you do well to visit the town mine. Many miners used to keep little journals down there to document their time below ground. If you can find one of those, you'll have a first-hand account of what transpired back then. Thank you for the advice. We'll go have a look for ourselves. Come, Luke. Let's head to the mine! Whoop, diary key. Ooh. So we back in the mine. So me and my pickaxe from side to side, side, side to side. So um, this is this is Anton's diary. Yes. <clears throat> All around town, people are falling ill to a disease that has no name. Some of the common folk have been saying that our town has fallen under a curse. As the only son remaining to watch over full sense, I can't even think of leaving. The thought would be more disturbing were it not for her. As long as she's by my side, I have the strength to stay and protect this town. Um, she's dying. She... she is dying. Maybe it's his son who just looks a lot like him. That seems to be the only option at the moment. Either that or he got the disease and it made him mortal. Would that really be a bad thing then? Maybe he got it, but she didn't. So he was like, I want to die. All right, we're finally going into the spooky woods. Who the hell are you? I don't know, but he seems thirsty. We should be at 169. If you talk to me about tea, see these shades? My favorite pair. Everything's so blurry. Oh, his eyes are strained. Okay, Ray. Relaxing and spicy and earthy. I'm not going to touch the damn tea right now. I'll do it later. Forest gate. There's one under the right gate. That's not... That's not descriptive enough! What do you mean? What do you mean, under the right gate? How far under? God damn it, I would have been able to find all the other ones. There we go. That's not under, that's the last. The gate's locked shut. Well, damn. This must be the mine we hear about, Professor. Yes, and it appears to be sealed off. Just imagine it, Luke. They used to dig for gold here. 
after all we've heard about the gold chain, uh, the gold changing the town, we must spill a ton of it down here. If it did so much for the town's development, why would they seal off the place? That's a question we might be able to answer if we can find some account of what transpired here. No sense in any more speculation. Let's venture in. Well, but first we have to... Oh, we can take a photo. Oh, yes. Shushing. Only three more. Bush. Hmm. Let's see if this works. Ha ha. That was almost too easy. Um stick is gone. And now to test my theory. Fuck you talking about? Oh, my. This one is quite formidable. What are you talking about? I put it on the stick. Stick is gone. And now to test my theory. You finicky ass. And there we have it. Found the second difference of the photos. Bush gun. Handle gun. <laughs> Do I have to look at each individual pebble? Each brick in yeah. the wall? Uh, no. Huh. It's none of the bricks. Hmm. Huh. Where? Where? Something different about the foliage? Oh my god. Wait. What? Is it? No. No. I think... I thought it was the top bit all the way up here, but no, it's just the photograph cutting it off. I'm not seeing it, nothing. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Missing. Missing rivet, ya bastard. Consider this puzzle solved. <sighs> you have a thing. No puzzle unsolved. All right, well, there's that. Now for a hidden puzzle. <laughs> okay. The locked. Box. Oh lord. The box shown below is fitted with a lock consisting of two dials. You can't turn the blue dial, but when you turn the red dial, the blue dial moves an equal amount. To see the relationship between the two dials, you turn the red one from its original position in order to open the lock. You must turn the blue dial to three, six, four, and finally one in that order. Since you can't turn the blue dial directly, what numbers must you turn to the red dial in order to produce the desired numbers on the blue dial. Okay. So, oh, starting red is zero, so blue is five. Then we turn red to three, so blue is now two. So we went, eh, and it went. Okay, so it's eh. three behind. So it's three behind, so it would be zero. Wait, wait, did I count that right? One, two, three, 
432. Okay. So it would be... Seven, three, one, six. Right? Seven, three, one, six. And now to test my theory. Okay, how did I mess it up? Okay. So, we've established it's three behind. Yes. All right. And we need three. Wait. Three behind, then how can three equal two? Because we do one, two, three, so then five goes to four, three, two. So then zero, th um, three would be two, one, zero, five, four, three, three, two, one. Why did I do seven? Because I, I was I was looking at the two. I was looking at the two, but it's it's supposed to be zero. Three, one, six. Zero, three, one, six. Zero, three, one, six. I was looking at the... Fucking excuse well, me. Well, I suppose you can't win them all. What the fuck are you talking about? Wait. Uh, hang, hang on, hang on. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. <sighs> this is hurting my brain. So right right now, okay. I think it's it's we're starting from here. So we're starting at three and we're starting at two. So we need to get this to three. Which means... <sighs> In order to do that... We would need to do two. Try 2714. 2714? 2714, yes. Hey, that's the date your mother finally passes. Are you omnipotent? My theory. No, I just talk to fate sometimes. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that hurty the brain. That hurty the Brian. Brian, no happy. Ooh. Ink, 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 ink. Been a while since a new OST. Big door. Oh. Ah, uh, solve a puzzle. Okay. The gear switch. The button that opens the door in front of you is buried deep within this machine, so you can't push it directly. However, by pulling the knob at the top, to the left or right, you can move the various gears and plates, allowing you to press the button. In order to hit the open button, should you pull the knob toward A or B? So, we need this gear to go that way. So then this would go there, which means that would go there, which means that would go there. Which means that would go there, and that would go... Yeah, it's B. 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 Consider this puzzle solved. 
Perfecto. Why would you have a button like that? No puzzle unsolved. Open e door. Excellent. The door is open now. Okay. But I think we'll save that for later. <laughs> ooh, 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 little secret is, mine. Is it time already? Yes, we did. Whenever, <laughs> whenever we do the puzzles, it always takes a while. How many? Mm. How many did we do? I think we did like. We did six. So. I would say that's a good amount. Uh, but but yeah, we also got the dirt on Anton. Pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I've been player one. I'm player two. And we'll see you next time when we delve deeper into the mine. Will we find a creeper? Maybe. Oh man. Bye bye. Bye bye.